Hi dear love, I'm Nicole and welcome to our spiritual guidance for July 2nd through July 8th, 2017. This is the Capricorn full moon and the Capricorn energy is that career focus, that longevity, determination and perseverance in your money this is going to be a spicy highly intensely passionate full moon this energy comes with a big old punch to relationship okay so remember this spiritual guidance is for your sun moon rising and cusp sign so this is for your soul everybody listening to this this will apply including me we're all half human and so remember this, that you are a soul within a body this week. Remember that your soul is speaking to you intuitively, okay? This energy is the truth-seeking, truth-telling energy. If you want to find out if someone really loves you, if they really care about you, if they're in it for the long haul, if they're just sleeping with you, for you know, if it's just a sex relationship friends with benefits relationship if it's a really strong emotional relationship if it's in a relationship where there's a conquest there and they just want to fulfill that if there's if it's a long lasting marriage if it's if you have that solid foundation if you want to find out how someone really feels about you i truly feel this is that week and it is going to be a massive energy of I'm either walking and we are done or we're going to work together to rebuild this. But you may need to just separate for a while. Talk about twin flame, twin flame running week. I really feel you're going to see that. Talk about uh, soulmate bonds. Having learned that lesson and separating, maybe the person gets out of your soul so much that you stop thinking about them, you stop dreaming about them because that karmic connection is cut. This is the thing I feel. Spirit is preparing each and every one of us for so much more than we have ever received before. This is the tail end of the eclipse season that we've been experiencing for the past about six months, five months, because next month we start a whole new eclipse season. And I'm going to talk about that um, on another video. But honey, when I say this is a ouch kind of a full moon, it is. And we're going to feel it wherever you are in this beautiful universe on the 8th and the 9th. And some of you beautiful spiritual superstars are way more uh, sensitive than others and you're already feeling it. You've already gotten those intuitive nudges of understanding whether where you stand with a, with a partner, where you stand in your relationship life, whether it be your relationship with your coworkers, your employer, um, your employee, your uh, family of origin, the family you created, whether it is within yourself. This is a struggling kind of a moon where there's volatile energy that is surfacing. And also, you know, this is, you know, even though this is an extremely intense um, and powerful energy with others, it is within ourself too, our ego versus our spirit, our conscious self versus our, our higher conscious, our higher consciousness, our um, divine masculine between our divine feminine. So this is, you know, that marriage versus work or career versus relationship life, your wants versus your needs, um, your boundaries versus being approached and letting people in. So this is that inner outer struggle. You are going to see if people are playing games. And I really feel that strongly. Where there is any relationship discord or disharmony, look within. Look within. Look where that accountability is and ask yourself, 
because Chiron also is retrograding and Chiron, I love Chiron because Chiron helps us heal those wounds that we can't do on our own. Some of us have been walking around with baggage all our lives, myself included. And in doing that, when we are able to work through the energy of Chiron, which will be around until um, for several months, until November of this year, Honey, we're coming out transformed. So you take this energy and I mean you start, you know, your boot camp as your spiritual advisor. Honey, I'm telling you this. You will be so grateful for putting in the spiritual effort that this week brings you. This is going to be the highlight of it. I strongly feel that. So make those changes within, okay? And really listen Wait, listen, um, really be be objective now because if you're subjective, you're going to be on the defense. You're going to, you know, really come out battling and be patient. Take the high road, okay? Take the high road. Remember, you've got a strategy because now you're privy to your spiritual guidance, okay? So use it. But where there's any manipulation, jealousy, guilt trips, honey, it's happening this week. Um, any selfishness, abuse of power or authoritative power there, um, you know, be cautious, be, be aware um, of people just coming on too strong, know your boundaries and spirit is going to be talking to you about that and uh, you're going to see where people are toxic, um, you're going to see where you may be toxic, you're going to see where behavior is toxic and where those, those changes need to be made and make them accordingly okay so if you are ready for change in your work life or in your intimate relationships this is the week to make those changes you're going to see it this is a very competitive um, energy and it is absolutely great when you are using it to strategize in your work your career and in your love life, okay? Let's begin. When you hear the chime, let's take a deep breath in and raise our vibration. I'm seeing our throat chakra. So Remember, don't use the double-edged sword that I'm seeing too, which means there's going to be some high arguments, some discussion. Let it be debate. Let it be discussions that you feel. Thank you so much, Heavenly Energies. Thank you so much. Divine Source, we thank Thee. Thank you so much. Spirit Guides, we thank Thee. All right. Ascended Masters, thank you so much. All right, St. Francis of Assisi, follow your heart. Be intuitive. It's going to be talking to you. Remember, you are a soul within a body. Listen to it. Be patient. Listen to your intuition. Follow, okay? Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. Thank you. Be heart-centered. All right, that was quick. It's divine timing, okay? Things are the way they should be. And the reason will be revealed when it is time. Spirit is inspiring you to reconnect through prayer, meditation, grounding, to strengthen your faith and trust that everything will work out the way the most illumined will have for you. Do not settle for less than what you deserve. Listen to your soul, okay? Absolutely synchronistic. Listen to your soul. This is what you want, right? You want that, that couple love. You want that spiritual love. So listen to your soul. You're going to see if someone's playing games with you. Games of the heart. Listen. Follow your heart. Thank you so much. And you're going to see if, if someone's really in it or not. Remember to ground yourself. Fresh air. Get on out. You know, diffuse that situation that may be bubbling from you. Okay, your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air by grass, trees, get out in nature. Okay, right, and if you can't get outside, um, bring it in, bring it indoors by opening your windows. 
thank you so much thank you so much you're gonna want to react the same way you have but know that spirit is pulling you to a new place and time that's blessed for you thank you so much there you are oh my goodness okay it's gonna be a little scary but being vulnerable is the right thing to do vulnerability is precious it is attractive it is scary it is um you feel out of your skin it is new it's fresh but it brings change okay you speak up for yourself stand up for yourself don't you settle for less than what you deserve this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread in the unknown unfamiliar territory where decisions are made based on intuition more than rationality don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition it is absolutely not it is powerful and once you do it you'll say to yourself oh my gosh i did it i can't believe i did it and just say thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, because my dear love, you deserve what's on your soul. And spirit is telling you, spirit is leading you there through vulnerability. That's one phase within our spiritual awakening that we must go through to get to the enlightenment stage, okay? Vulnerability is a precious thing. It is your truth. The veil is being lifted. You're going to see through it. This is a truth-seeking, truth-telling full moon. And when that fog clears, you're going to know exactly where you stand, exactly what to do. You're going to know which direction to go in. You're going to know how people really feel about you, how you really feel about them. Whether it be your job, your employer, the position you're in, um, the person you're in love with. Are they in love with you? The person you're chasing or seeking out. Should you even take this on as something worthwhile? You know, are they worthy of your love? All of that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Heavenly angels, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. Oh, Divine Source, thank you so much. I hear the bells ringing. People, this is a wake-up call. People are getting woken up this week. Thank you so much. I feel the butterflies. Okay, I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my stomach. I feel it more. Than in my stomach. I feel it in my soul, honey. So this is a big deal. This is a wake up. And there's going to be some tears. And let those tears fall. Oh my gosh. Woo! Divine source. Let me tell you. Okay, this is an awakening. Don't you love divine source? Don't you just love? Love, love, love. Divine source wake up call is happening for all of us okay this is a powerful card this is a powerful energy you are now entering into a complete awakening to your higher self your intuition your gifts your role on this planet and the divine plan the opening of your heart center is allowing your inner vision to see more clearly what what oh what my goodness oh my gosh divine plan what oh uh, okay oh my gosh i love divine source in turn this is empowering you on many levels this is empowering so vulnerability this is power to be vulnerable. It's empowering you energetically, intuitively to walk your path and do what you have come here to do. Receive the love that you are meant to. Your awakening will subconsciously call out to others to step into their own light as well. What in the world? 
Oh my gosh, I gotta praise God. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. You know, I want you like this in your home, in your space. Bring it to me. I receive, I receive, I receive. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want you praising God. I want you praising divine source. I want you praising spirit. Okay, because you're going into a place that's unknown. It is scary. It is frightening. But it is all in divine timing to lift you up and to receive the gifts from divine source that you were always meant to receive. That you're human. Your ego said, no, you don't deserve. That is a lie. This is an extremely powerful moment. Okay, this is a big moment in time. There is a portal opening this week. And this is a calling that is on your soul in the biggest way. This is an awakening and you will feel it. Thank you so much for tuning in for our spiritual guidance. I'm excited. I'm excited for all of us. I love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And honey, I will be on Facebook Live on the 7th the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, and I will try to be on the 11th, but I'll be traveling in between that, um, and uh, so I'm not really sure, but I will do my very best to get on Facebook Live if I've got to drive to a McDonald's and get there. I'll try my very best, okay? Honey, I love you. Rock it out.